Uh, Benga, let's start with that and get your thoughts on the inflation numbers. So, when we talk about inflation figures, uh, you know, the, the market has pretty much been trading um, more significantly lower than the low inflation we got to period now. So, what is really driving the market right now is liquidity. Um, so, the inflation figures really have no impact on the market going forward. It's been trading below inflation for a while. Real returns are still negative. So if it continues to go up, there's really no surprise there, and it's not like it's not expected. Um, food prices are going up um, with the current ban on May that is May is going on by the CPI right now. Food prices will continue to go up. So really, um, we can only see that one what. But like I said, the market is driven by liquidity, so they won't see anything that impact of inflation in the market. All right, it's been quite an interesting week we've seen in the money market, and I'd like to get your thoughts on how things have played out so far. Okay, um, money market has pretty much um, been a lot better than before last week. Um, we saw liquidity improve and rates come down. Um, there was a normal maturity yesterday, and we didn't see CBN conduct a new auction to mark up that maturity. We've also seen bond coupon payments coming on Wednesday. We expect more to come in next week, so that has pretty much helped it. Um, liquidity in the money market. Um, there's, there's a CBN auction today for um, FX, so that might be the bit of a reduction in liquidity, but on in all, it's a better situation for last week. All right, but how are the unmet, bill, um, unmet bids from the T-bill auction impacting sentiment in the market today? Um, the T-bill auction closed a bit lower than the last. Um, it was down the market was expecting. The discount is at 1% and 3%. Uh, really, <laughs> the top ones all were just saying it's a lot more um, fund managers and a bit, a lot, a bit of chaos is seen in that space. There's not really much of a trading going on um, because it's typically had people to trade at around those levels. So it's just been all that reason. When you have um, clients that you need to buy, you just go buy and move on. So there's not been a lot of trading going on in the Tibo space, basically because of where the yields or the rates are at the moment, and they're pretty much very low, which I mean, is not driving a lot of interest. All right, I understand that there was some bargain hunting in the bond space yesterday. Do you expect that to continue today and going into next week? Um, yes, um, so that is driven by liquidity by cost. Bond coupon payments, which has, which has been happening, which started on Wednesday. Um, we expect around 60 to, 100, 60 to 100 billion to hit the system next week, starting from Monday. So, as people look to reinvest those coupons, we we'll continue to see bargain on them. We've seen you drop about 15 basis points. Um, also, because of the auction next week, that might be true, a bit of supply for the market. Um, we have a new top quarter calendar where CBN is. And I'm offering between 130 to 150 billion, so that should improve supply. So we see that um, demand or that increase in more for whatever supply and be more next week. All right, now for the NPC next week, though, are you expecting any surprises? So I get the last question. I get the question. I said for the NPC next week, are you expecting any surprises? Ah, there have been a bit of rumors of speculation as regards to um, the doctor in the NPL. Um, but apart from that, really, we don't expect any surprises. Um, we don't expect any hike in any of the rates. Um, the best we can do at the moment is to reduce or hold on the signaling rate, which is the NPL, to show at least a bit of more strength and a bit more willingness to the real sector, to lend to the real sector, and a bit more push towards not crowding out to the real sector. So, we don't expect any significant changes to that. Um, we pretty much think that things are going the way they should be going by the CBN's own standards or by the CBN's own expectations. And we don't expect them to uh, rally or to make them up in the market for now. All right, but looking into next week, though, what's uh, your uh, thoughts for the liquidity play? So the liquidity play will be only maturing next week. The coupon payments coming in. Um, so we expect the liquidity play, like I said, will be a bit better next week. Um, uh, the bond um, 
the bond for the to be able to mop out the bond auction that is going to happen next week. So that can create a bit of a new effect. Um, there's still more coupons to be still coming in up with again. So like I said, and we still have the more maturity next week as well. So we expect, and without any significant funding event happening, we expect the market to be in a better situation next week.